In the run-up to today's arraignment, the former president used violent rhetoric to rally supporters, echoing his words from before the January 6th attack. So the NYPD has put up barricades around the courthouse and introduced new security measures in the city. Jeff Pegues is outside Trump Tower with more. Jeff, good morning. Good morning, Nate. Later on today, early afternoon time frame, the former president will leave Trump Tower here behind me and head south down into lower Manhattan for these historic court proceedings. Our message is clear and simple. Control yourselves. On Monday, New York City Mayor Eric Adams warned potential protesters and what he called rabble rousers ahead of Donald Trump's arraignment. Among the expected demonstrators is GOP Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, a Trump ally, who tweeted her plan to protest at Collect Pond Park right across the street from the courthouse. NYPD Commissioner Keisha Sewell. The NYPD is prepared to ensure that everyone is able to have their voices heard peacefully while exercising their First Amendment rights. Investigators from federal, state, and local law enforcement say they've seen calls for violence against Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, government officials, and the FBI. In preparation for Mr. Trump's court appearance, nearly the entire New York City police force is on standby. I know how well the New York City Police Department is able to pivot and shift based on the circumstances that they are facing, and we are prepared. I have no concern at all around this. The police commissioner here in New York City says that she has resources she needs to protect public officials who are facing serious threats. Of course, the NYPD, 35,000 people strong, the mayor says. What law enforcement has been saying over the last couple of weeks, that there are no specific or credible threats. They're telling New Yorkers to go about their daily business. Nate. Jeff, thank you.